Hello guys, today in this tutorial we will discuss about how to clean the data and the descriptive statistical analysis in uh, Excel. Yeah, actually data uh, cleaning is very essential part. Uh, it is very important. Uh, for example, if our data has the missing values, we should uh, first uh, uh, fill those uh, missing values. Uh, and if we have duplicates, we should find and we should uh, extract those uh, duplicate uh, rows from our data because it is very much important uh, because duplicates will further uh, imbalance our further analyze decrease our EQ accuracy okay uh, first let's start uh, from um, this filling the missing values uh, here uh, for example, if we look our security uh, system here uh, in some sp in some rows there will written intercom, and uh, most of them are empty. It means that uh, students tried to find the security uh, system, but uh, they couldn't find, and uh, uh, in, as a result, uh, he left he or she left as a blank. How we can work with that? Uh, it's very easy. We can select the ex ex entire uh, column and uh, we can go from home to find and uh, select or from here we should go go to and uh, here special and the uh, blanks it will it means we will reach to all blank uh, columns uh, uh, blank cells we mm, press ok and uh, we have uh, we have uh, highlighted all uh, rows uh, there what we have to do actually in my case it has taken all of them but uh, it's not a big deal uh, for example we should write none here because not exist data was not available but uh, if we press enter only this uh, cell will be written rest of them will remain what we should do we should press control and uh, enter then all of the rows will be changed unfortunately in our case all the last rows have been changed but it's not a big deal that uh, we will uh, clean them later on uh, in order to avoid those kind of misconception what should we do uh, i should press control z control z uh, we should highlight the entire this area region and uh, you should go find select go to special blanks okay and the uh, none yeah oh sorry as i have mentioned if i uh, i i forgot to press control enter that's why it's only written there now i will uh, solve this issue none and the control and enter yeah entire row have been set up as a none Okay, with categorical variable, it's very easy. Here also in balcony, if it is uh, only yes column, you know, uh, they found, but uh, I think there should be no or none, but uh, both of them will not make a big change. We can clean up here as a, again, find, select, go to, special, blanks, okay. None. Control enter. Yeah. Here it is. It has been done. Well, okay. But when it comes to uh, uh, quantitative variable, it's kind of uh, difficult. Either we should put zero, or either we should put mean, or either we should put median. Most uh, accepted one is the putting the median value. Uh, it's called median imputation. Yeah, in from Python class, if you remember imputation, we have discussed. Imputation means putting the value in place of missing values, because rather than putting zero, it will not uh, big, uh, it will not uh, good, because here is categorical variable, a lot of statistical uh, values we are going to calculate, and it will imbalance our analysis also. Okay, that's why let's find first uh, media. For example. Uh, median uh, guys we should if you want to reach here just press tab and it will come here from where from first 
first to last one because guys why not mean because mean always will change depending on for example when you are putting new values it will vary very quickly but median will not vary in a huge range that's a very important point that's why median is has been accepted okay we can it means that uh, 7.5 million yeah okay uh, we can select this area again uh, find and select go to special uh, blanks mm. it is 7.5 million yeah mm -hmm. if you have seen we have all oh my god again i have I forgot to put as a I forgot to press control enter go to special oh my god I Control enter. Yeah, you have reached all of them. Mm -hmm. That's all fine. That's great. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm, that's all. Uh, how? Okay. Let's come to uh, duplicates. Duplicates is also very easy. Uh, in this uh, home conditional formatting we should first uh, highlight this uh, duplicate values okay red fill we should first specify those function then after that manage rules we are coming and uh, the area from where actually generally we should select the area for example, uh, every uh, column has its unique uh, columns, unique uh, areas. For example, in our case, it is the uh, ID because all flats will have different kind of uh, ID if you remember. For example, um, the City may name may name same district same number of rooms may be uh, repeated uh, floors can be repeated security system price everything can be repeated but uh, as we know every here we have this kind of uh, unique uh, IDs uh, for example if someone uh, if some I don't know by mistake or something happened or in case that something repeated I can identify like that yeah. That's why those students who is sharing the same district, please, uh, guys, don't try to to do this kind of cheating stuff. Uh, for example, here, uh, ID number uh, 56. For example, 56. Yeah, here I intentionally updated, intentionally changed in order to show this thing. Uh, but in general, uh, while cal data collection, it, it, it it's may not happen or if it happens yeah someday uh, some if I, I have said that some kind of uh, promotion purpose as a secondary advertisement they may have to put it that's why it's okay I, that's why I have given the threshold value 10% yeah because they may put same advertisement for two places with same ID because uh, we know already for example in a market if you have uh, two place you may have the chance to uh, visitors two times more yeah it, definitely it will not be two times more but it will definitely will be 1.5 uh, times more than your real uh, your chance will definitely increase yeah it means that uh, 56 56 it's repeated yeah if we look uh, seven million eight hundred thousand seven million eight hundred thousand fifty five fifty five seven point five seven point five if you look everything is same it's kind of duplicate means yeah in this manner we can find duplicates very easily uh -huh. 
Okay, uh, with that, with, we have finished this uh, data uh, collection one. Now, uh, let's come to mm, descriptive statistical analysis. Uh, in descriptive statistical analysis, we should find mean average uh, and the harmonic mean, median, maximum, minimum, mode, and the quartiles. Yeah? Okay, mean is very simple. Uh, it is uh, we should write equal average. Uh, we should press tab. It will come. Numbers means entire this column. Uh, as you know, this column mm, we should we need, we will need again and again. It is K two two K hundred K one hundred one. Next time we always will keep in mind. Uh, enter. For example, what we can do, we can kill, select, copy this uh, range because further we will need it. Uh, okay, we have found mean or average value, and uh, here is this uh, harmonic mean. For example, mean and the harmonic mean. Uh, sorry, this one. Harmonic mean tab range this range enter yeah harmonic mean, mean is it will buy uh, automatically exclude these outliers suppose uh, it this flat stays 3.7 million if i put 370 million definitely this will be outlier my entire mean will change if you look it has changed till 100 uh, it has changed from uh, 12, 8 million to 12 million because one flat 370 million definitely will change but uh, my harmonic mean didn't change because it's it has already analyzed it's uh, as, as an outlier and it's already extracted that's why harmonic mean has the huge uh, influence and uh, as a mean harmonic mean will be uh, used uh, also um, harmonic mean finding mean and the harmonic mean helps us to identify either we have outliers in our uh, in our data set or in our this specific column uh, median we already found it's very easy and the maximum minimum also very easy uh, maximum value uh, and the our range yeah this is 370 million it was our outlier i intentionally put that value uh, minimum also here minimum Yeah, 1.5 million. Quartiles are a little bit... Uh, quartiles, we know, yes. Quartiles means, for example, first quartile is still 25th percent, 25th percent's value, and second quartile, 50th percent, or, or it is the median one. Uh, third quartile, 75th percent, fifth quartile is the maximum, 100 percent's value. Yeah, from statistics course you already familiar with those values uh, quartile inclusive and exclusive there are two types inclusive uh, quart exclusive quartile will not include the uh, zero percentile and the hundred percentile uh, that's why we are going to use uh, inclusive because we gonna we want to find fourth quartile also actually in general we don't need because 25 75 uh, 25 uh, 25, 75, 50, 75 is more than enough, but in our case, let's try because uh, let's find 25th, uh, fourth quartile and we, we will change this with uh, maximum value. Yeah, tab, range I have to specify after that which quartile, yeah, it means it, it already gives minimum value, first quartile is 25th percentile, okay, let's try it. Second quartile is also quartile inclusive range. Uh, second quartile. 
style inclusive range third quartile inclusive for range force yeah as we have seen uh, 30 uh, force quartile is equal to our maximum yeah uh, that's all for today's tutorial uh, please uh, try to practice with these uh, things now our data is clean and is uh, ready to uh, prepare further uh, analysis yeah of course one thing we should do uh, we should extract those uh, this one for example our it are duplicates we should extract them and delete entire mm -hmm. 755 is repeated we should delete we should avoid duplicates and now our data does not have any kind of duplicate our data uh, does not have missing values we have calculated descriptive statistical analysis uh, yeah in come upcoming assignment you have to do data cleaning and the descriptive statistical analysis yeah so thank you very much for your attention uh, see you next week